So Netflix happened. They had this massive um, rise. They said, okay, boom, boom, we feel that you are against us and so forth. So this is my issue. Everybody has the right to be offended. You can tell me what does and doesn't offend me. So fine, you're offended and you think it's wrong. Now, where I say this is dodgy is you now want demands off of Netflix. So we want better LGBTQ representation at Netflix. We want more LGBTQ shows, LGBTQ creators. So I said, whoa, 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 hold on. So is this now a stick up? <laughs> because I thought you're offended by this and you know you want to have a dialogue. Like whether you want to be whether you wanted to remove it or not, that's a different thing. You could have that. They don't, want, they don't want to have a dialogue. They want they made it clear that they want him to be silenced completely. No, 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 like no but you see, Red, and this is my larger point. With all these things, people don't want equality. They want power. Exactly. People don't want equality. They want power. So LGBTQ is like, oh no, now we sense that we have opportunity. Oh no, no, we want more LGBTQ shows. We want more LGBTQ programming. What? And I was like, for Netflix, wait a minute. You can't just force us or bully us to put more LGBTQ programming and stuff, which there already is because when you go to Netflix, there, there, there is a bar of where there's like um, LGBT programming and everything. So my thing is it just seems as if the um, the focus has sort of been shifted from we are angry with what Dave Chappelle is doing to oh yeah, we're angry, but hey man now we're angry, now we now have this impact let's now say what's up and now try to now um, strong arm Netflix and so forth. But here's the other flip side as well. Because I've just been watching videos about this. Red, let's be real here. Chappelle, was that a comedy special? Oh, it, was, it was a cultural commentary. Killing Me Softly and, and that stuff that he starts, you have about four or five different topics. That he, he'll, literally, through the show, he'll have you talked about one thing and one group for an entire special. Mm-hmm. I mean, like Dave, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, Dave, it's, it's, it's hard. Like, to, it's hard uh, to. It's just the thing is that you are. I do agree with you. It's like him just sticking to one topic, but like it's just a big part of society. And like honestly, it makes no sense. Like I'll give you an example. Like just like how why I I I look I I talked about I critiqued Dave Chappelle's content earlier, but mm -hmm. I'm not against him saying what he's saying. He's entitled mm -hmm. to say what he yeah. says. He's entitled yeah. to go out and do that because he never incited hate. He never said that go beat them up. He's just simply pointing out. What anybody could see, right? I'll give you an example. Bro, 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 as a Muslim, bro, bro, bro. As a Muslim, I have no idea how that was anti LG. Like it I'm, wasn't. Maybe I, I, I something or something. I'm like, this, is this a this is this like a whistle call or whistle balloon? Like, hey man, let's go after. I'm like, he's just making some points with the use of comedy. But see, it, but it's, all we're asking, all he's asking for is consistency. Right, mm -hmm. he he didn't he never he never said that they shouldn't be advanced. He said that he's commenting on America like you guys would legit like you allow like you let them get this far ahead and like meanwhile the African American community is still struggling. Here's my mm -hmm. issue with the whole thing, like from how I I, I related to what he said. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the Charlie Hebdo attacks. Are you aware of what happened with Charlie yes, Hebdo? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So so people were all for freedom of speech when a man decided to depict the Prophet peace be upon him, and mm -hmm. uh, simply for not for comedy. Not for anything being funny, simply to to rattle and offend Muslims, mm -hmm. just under the guise of freedom of speech, right? And and they 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 were allowing it, and they and, and to this day, all of them vouched for him, and they 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 uh, even like uh, and obviously I, I don't condone what happened to him, I don't mm -hmm. condone any terrorist attacks, I don't condone the killing or violence, mm -hmm. that words or or or, or comedy mm -hmm. or or any kind of sketches should not be met with violence, mm -hmm. uh, never. But what I'm saying is. They all said freedom of speech and this shouldn't be allowed and and this is this is uh, an atrocity. Look at these barbarians and they mm. it, 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 they ultimately used it to to demonize and de dehumanize Muslims more yeah. so. Mm. But whenever we talk about a certain group, all of a sudden, no, this is unacceptable. You're you're dehumanizing them. You're the, but how come it's okay to talk about this group, but not this group? Right, mm -hmm. like why? Why do we allow that? Like why? But how come over here freedom of speech is 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 infringed, but over here it's not infringed? But we see, so this is what you need to understand, and it's someone that's um, that from the Joe Biden podcast that I said on Joe Biden podcast, which is profound. Everybody is a hypocrite, exactly, and that's just 
human beings are imperfect beings and human beings by nature are hypocritical. Mm -hmm. We are tribal. I care about me, my group, my tribe. Yep. And I am going to pick and choose what what does offend me. So as so, so, so basically, so as Dave Chappelle says, it's like, bro, look how many times I've insulted blacks, I've insulted whites and so forth, but you don't say anything. But now when it, but for the LGBTQ, we get it. We're hypocritical. <laughs> we only care about when you offend us. Offend anyone else. Who cares? We can offend us. And Red, my thing is that I have no beef with that though. Because that's just how the world works. We are tribal. But if okay, you mess with my problem. tribe, I will respond. But here's if the you problem, mess with my tribe, you... what's my issue with, 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 with other how tribe? Come, that's how, how, come, we how come there's repercussions in this scenario? There's no repercussions. Like, the thing is, you're right. Like I, I can be, I'm a Because of how powerful right? the LGBTQ the is... community are. And yeah, how in, and how little in, influence that the African American community has, and because yep. it's basically pet example. Denzel Washington, he was doing this, um, or Kevin Hart Oscars. No, 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 no. He was just um, talking about this. Play. It was him about David. Schultz. He was just having this interview, and it was just talking about how you know black people are depicted and so forth and everything. And then he just talked about how he was basically trying to talk about how in this film. This black guy, they were trying to basically kill him in various different ways, and the crowd were all laughing about how these black guys were just killing him. And then he was, oh, you found that so funny and so forth. And then he then says, okay, what if we switch it? I will now talk about um, this Jewish person getting gassed, and everyone just gasped. I said, like, oh, you gasped, but you laughed when I was, was cracking jokes like... about the black guy thing. But you gasped when it's all... because everyone is tribal. Mm -hmm. People are in. Human beings by nature aren't consistent. I shall, 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 that's yeah, a commentary so. more on society, more so on individual nuance on society because society brainwashes us. Like my culture, the, the thing is, it's very subtle. It's just, when you watch a commercial, when you, let's say for example, when you watch a commercial, and you see a, a a guy who's in a nice car, and in mm. the guy that with a nice car, he has a woman beside him. That sends a message to your brain: I get that car, I get that woman. Yeah. Right? This isn't movies. This isn't music. This stuff. It they normalize it. Right? They they allow it. When we watch movies, we think Holocaust. We think immediately bad undoable mm. you know what i mean like like this is this is this is awful this is the worst thing this is the worst of humanity the darkest parts of human right so, so it's, it's engraved in our mind so when you think about it instantly you're like no 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 no, bad 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 but then ask yourself how come when we find like you said like oh he, he killed this african-american we find it funny like when we talk mm. about gang violence we find it cool when mm. we talk about like all this stuff why it's because we, we have to ask ourselves who's funding these projects who's putting out these conversations right like there's a lot of nuance in it like and dave chappelle is trying to shine a light on it which i like i said it's not funny but it is not, doesn't mean it's not true. He's mm. right. There's a lot of things where nowadays, like I said, like they could easily just play the victim card. They didn't play the victim card, like I said, when, when it was the Charlie Hebdo attacks, because mm. when they don't understand when they're doing this, like it's just, the problem is with like what, what like when I come talk, talk about like the, my beef with and why I'm so sensitive about it, it's like nobody's gonna ever come approach me. I, I look white. Nobody's ever gonna say yeah. like, oh he's a Muslim. You can't identify a Muslim by how he looks because a Muslim could look like yeah, Asian, yeah. black, yeah, yeah, like white, white whatever, and everything. Yeah, but it's women. My mother wears a hijab, right? And okay. My mother has been harassed, has been oh, wow. harassed, like we're, we're, we're by by people, like passing by. Sometimes, like there's been periods because, like I said, like depends. Like if there's like every time, let's say for example, there was any attack or there was anything like in the news about it, mm. I always fear for for my family mm. because like you never know who who might just click. And the thing is, they, they normalize that behavior, yeah. and all of a sudden it becomes. And, and the thing is, they protect that hate speech under the guise of freedom of speech. Mm. And that's an actual hate speech. But Dave Chappelle but, 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 said it wasn't hate speech. He mm. was simply commenting on what's actually happening, right? Like when when like this is this is this is my issue with HH is like you, you can say it's hypocritical or hypocritical, uh, hypocritical, but like when the powers that be are swaying it and you see like news outlets, media outlets, all these like they, they're just posting about it, they're trying to cancel them. You see, even Rotten Tomato, they'll like plummet his score and all that stuff. You could clearly see somebody's tipping their hand on the scale and like mm. like it's it's a bit unfair and i'm not saying of course like the gays are coming to get us it's not that it's just that like no but but, but see, it's, I, I watched the video it's so interesting this is um from um double toasted like this guy quarry you know mm -hmm. did you used to watch spill.com back in the day no no okay no especially is this like movie review thing and this guy is a host called Corey because he, he said something interesting he said that what if that same special was done by a white comedian and instead of the LGBTQ community, it was black people. He was targeting and so forth. How did people then respond to to that? But, again, but, it goes you know it goes back to tribal because again, black people right now who are saying that man leave Dave Chappelle alone blah 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 why so sensitive? 
if you switched it and it was a white comedian who was bringing cracking jokes, but sort of his special was sort of using this whole thing as then how would that be? But then if you now, but then you see, it gets complicated because is Dave Chappelle attacking the LGBT community or is he trying to make a point with, with the facts of how the LGBTQ community has been more advanced and has more influence and impact than African Americans and how they punch down on African Americans? So it's how you view it. Because they do, though. It, they do. It's always they always try to portray uh, like not just African Americans, but like Arabs and like other cultures as like being homophobic inherently. Hmm. They always try to do that. You see that all the time. They comment about it. And no, no, I, you, I, I, like it's just, there's 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 uh, I forgot the name of these YouTube channels, but there's a ton of these YouTube channels where they like bring people like and they were like the spectrum and they like bring them and be like, oh, our our our, our most blacks like homophobic, and you have to go like strongly agree, or strongly disagree, and like it's all black guys stuff like that. Like, why is this conversation being had? Like, yes, hmm. of course. Inherently, most 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 cultures are homophobic because that's what's been going on for a long time. And 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 LGBTQ is a relatively new topic, and there's always going to be pushback to any new ideas. So why are you trying to vilify and make these people seem almost barbaric or anti you when mm. they, uh, for the most part, do support them a lot, mm. right? As as a minority group, they they are getting support. The he he like a lot of the things that he said were not attacking. That's why the difference. If a white guy were to go and do and, and, and do a conversation about black people, that's completely different. So, first of all, because one second, just one second, yeah. because there's a whole history, a 400 year history of yeah. nuance behind it, and, and and that is 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 is, is like we, we we know that we, there that has happened though. If you go back in history, that has happened, and way worse than what Dave Chappelle said, where they actually yeah. incited violence, where they actually yeah. dehumanized them and made them seem as if they were animals and for entertainment, like so. It's not even the same to even make that comparison. And it's a very ignorant comparison that can only be made by somebody of privilege who who, who thinks oh, no, that no, no, these no, are no, one-to-one one comparisons. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because because I, I, I want to ask you something. But mm -hmm. before I ask you that, um, a white transgender person probably has an easier time in America than a black heterosexual. 